first time I met a Gibson Well, we're back in 1968 I was an organ player in, in, in the first bands, trumpet and organ in the first bands I was in. But there was everybody in when I was a kid had a guitar, and I um, I would always go over when we the band would take a break, and I think I was like uh, 13 years old, and uh, my friend had a Gretsch Tennessee, and, and we plugged that in and turned it up, and it just you know it was cool. It was a good guitar, but then in '68 he got his father for 600 bucks went to Manny's and bought a, uh, the Black Beauty that they reissued that year, the beautiful guitar. And uh, he plugged that thing in and it was like, uh-oh, you know, this is different. This is doing, and no pedals then. He just went right into his little deluxe and turned it up all the way. And I would mess with that one. I said, man, I gotta have one. And then going to the Fillmore in 68, 69, 70, I, I don't remember seeing anything but Gibsons in the bands that I went to see. And, and uh, Robin Trower had a gold top like this in Procol Harum. And I got the gold top bug really, really early. Um, or the Les Paul bug, pretty much. And the other thing was the SG. Everybody had an SG. So I would go around pricing these guitars when I'm a kid. And I still, you know, got to pay for anything I want. I got to work with my father and, you know, sheetrock and lift shingles and mix cement. Whatever, you know, for a dollar an hour and, uh, and, and save my money uh, for a guitar. So I used to just keep borrowing guitars. So I got to play a lot of different guitars in that period when I was 13, 14. And, uh, and, and didn't buy a guitar actually until later. A friend of mine calls me, Corky calls me up and says, Hey man, I got a couple of Les Pauls. I got a black Les Paul and, uh, and a Sunburst Les Paul. And I have a red... Candy Apple Red Strat for sale. I said, oh really, uh, bring them over. And uh, I'm probably like, I don't know, 18 at this point. And he brings them over and there's, he puts them, he brings them in, there's no cases. He just brings them in with no cases. I played all three guitars. I, I really liked the Black Les Paul. Uh, they had reissued a, uh, it was like a 54 uh, Black Beauty. So I liked that guitar my friend Pete liked the, uh, the Les Paul Sunburst, it was Tobacco Sunburst Custom. So we had our guitars and we said, man, we got no cases. Let's go over to Ackerman's Music and, and, and bring the guitars over and get some cases. So lo and behold, we get there, we got these guitars and Myrtle Ackerman was the nicest lady said, boys, I hate to tell you, but those guitars were stolen from my store just last week. And we're di we died. We're like, oh my God, we gave them back to her, you know, and we didn't get in any trouble. We, we, Corky got in trouble, unfortunately. <laughs> so I had my hands on one, man. I'm playing this guitar for a couple of days. And, um, and then I went out, I had about 400 bucks saved. You know, I figured, oh, I paid three for that. I got to be able to get a Les Paul. Couldn't get a Les Paul for $400. Couldn't went everywhere. So finally I got a non-reverse Firebird for 400 bucks. And I said, this is cool. Winwood plays one of these. Because everything even then was about who played what? You know, I mean, that, that trickle-down theory still works. I see young friends of mine, little kids that are young, I say little kids and they're 20, 21, 22 years old, that are starting to get the disease that Bonamassa blames me for giving him because I knew his father when they had a shop and they would come to these guitar shows and I met Joe and he was a little kid playing his ass off already. And, um, and we, at that time, we could find stuff. It's really hard to find stuff now. But people find a way, man. Uh, you know, I suggest refins, great guitars. You know, you're playing a lot for paint. And, uh, and reissues. I mean, custom shop stuff, even if you think it's expensive, the $600 less Paul or 650 bucks in 1968 is about $4,000 now. You know, that's about what it is. Um, so, is that too much? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, maybe for some things. Maybe for a car, but not for a guitar. <laughs>